we're engineers and we like to come up with solutions that will have big impacts on patients' unmet needs. And this project started with a what if question. Our what if question ended up becoming a project that we've labeled in the lab as Thor. And what we're hoping for and going after is a much more complicated assessment of cancer cells, the hormones that they produce, and how they're changing over time in the body. So this is actually a prototype of the hammer device. And then, uh, of course, the ultimate use of that technology would be to adjust cancer treatment corresponding to those changes. And that's what makes this project so exciting. The implant itself, hammer, has the potential to transform how cancer is managed today. Rather than tethering patients to IV bags, monitors, there's a whole hospital infrastructure that's trying to track their health as they're going through this therapy. To have a device that tells us exactly what's going on in the cancer or tumor environment, that of course is gonna be a game changer because it will give us the most accurate information to base novel treatments and treatment sequences on. The reason I'm excited about this collaboration with Rice University really brings complementary expertise and talents to this use. This effort that's funded by ARPA-H, this Project THOR, is a conglomerate of 19 investigators who are bringing together an interdisciplinary set of skills. We have material scientists, synthetic biologists, immunologists, clinicians, patient advocates, people that specialize in wireless communication, people that specialize in artificial intelligence. If we work closely together and we're appreciative of the uh, financial support of ARPA-H, we can really bring this type of a solution to patients in a remarkable time of well, less than five years, which is simply unheard of when it comes to innovations in therapeutic space. But we've had a track record of doing this through our collaborations with MD Anderson, in particular with Amir. We've been able to do this in the past, and we think we can pull this off as well.